Thank you very much. And yeah, I just want to repeat what the uh, MC said. Uh, you know, this is Kampu Sanam's 10th anniversary, 10th birthday, and it's also the 10th birthday of Vegetarian Society. So I, I really kind of feel that uh, Vegetarian Society is like the Xiao Didi of Kampong Sanam, the little brother of Kampong Sanam, because all the, I mean, what you guys do is so huge, and what we do is so small. We're just trying to be a little bit of support for all the great things that Kampong Sanam does. Next slide, please. So, like I said, we're founded in 1999. Our goal is to educate people to eat less or no meat. We have about 300 paid members, and more than 5,000 people receive our free electronic newsletter. We're a registered charity, and we are a member of the International Vegetarian Union. There's our website, so if you like to receive the free newsletter, just go there, and there's a place to sign up. Okay, very easy URL to remember, www.vss.sg. Now, um, many speakers today have mentioned why it's good to eat less or no meat. So rather than me do my usual speech about that, I thought, especially since we have such a aware and well-educated audience, well, I thought what I would do, and since you've been listening all day, is to ask you to talk about all this. But anyway, I think you can all hear me, yeah? yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll do without this. At Vegetarian Society, we normally talk about four reasons to eat less or no meat. Okay. And these... And these all... Anyway, let's not worry about it. Because I'm not, I'm not really going to talk very much. You've been listening. Now it's going to be your turn to talk. Next, please. Okay. Next. So here, here are the big four reasons to eat less or no meat. Click, please. Okay. So health. We heard speakers talk about that. Kindness towards our fellow animals. Protecting the environment. And feeding the hungry. What feeding the hungry means is that there's about one billion people in the world who every day do not have enough to eat. There are hundreds of people who die every day because of malnutrition. And one of the and one reason they don't have enough to eat is that food that we grow is fed to the animals who we eat. If hungry people could get that food, we wouldn't have any hungry people. Because we already produce more than enough food to feed every single person on the planet. So here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to, when I finish, I'd like you to all stand up and find someone who you haven't met yet, who you don't know. Okay? Once you find someone who you don't know, go up to them, introduce yourself, say hi, and then talk about these four. Ask them, what is a health reason to eat less or no meat? What is a kindness reason, kindness towards our fellow animals? What is a reason why eating less or no meat protects the environment? What is the reason why eating less or no meat helps overcome the problem of world hunger? Okay, so uh, please go ahead now, stand up, find someone who you don't know, introduce yourself, and talk about the uh, Why is kindness? Uh, why is it? Uh, 
they weren't so clear about the environment. Okay. Well, here's the main reason why, there's, there's two main reasons why eating meat is bad for the environment. Firstly, eating meat is very inefficient. Okay, here's why. Because when a child, a human child, is growing up, do they gain one kg of weight for every one kg they eat? Of course not. They have to eat many kgs of food to gain just one kg of weight. The, according to what I've read, the age about 12 or 13 is when human children gain the most weight, about five kgs. But of course, a 12-year-old or a 13-year-old eats many kgs of food to gain that one kg of weight. Well, it's the same thing for the pigs, the cows, the chickens, when they're growing up. So that means to get one kg of pork or chicken or beef, we have to feed many kgs of corn, wheat, other foods to those animals. Well, how do we get the food? We cut down the trees. We use a lot of water. We use a lot of energy. So eating meat is a very inefficient way to get our food. The second reason that eating meat is so bad for the environment relates to global warming. And this, I think, the, yeah, the speaker from the Singapore Environment Council talked about that today. Because, okay, when we cut down trees to get more land, to grow more food, that we waste when we feed it to the animals, that lets off carbon dioxide. Also, the animals produce methane, which is a more powerful greenhouse gas than CO2. They also produce nitrous oxide, which is also 200 times more powerful than CO2 in terms of global warming. Okay, so that's that's two of the reasons why when we eat less meat, we're helping the environment. Thanks for the question. Uh, let's go on. Okay, if we agree that people should eat less or no meat, well, why don't they? Because actually the reasons are so obvious. I mean, who wants to kill all these animals? They haven't done anything to us. Who wants to wreck the environment? We, there's so much evidence that eating meat is bad for our health. Why do people keep doing it? Well, here are three reasons. Okay, some people think meat tastes good. Okay, they just like it so much. Some people think we need meat or else we can't be healthy. And some people say, well, it's so easy to eat meat. I go to the Hawker Center, the food court, so many stalls with meat dishes, but hardly any, or maybe zero stalls that are vegetarian. So these are, from my experience, the three main reasons why people eat meat. 
So what I'd like you to do is find a new friend. <laughs> okay? Uh, you're going to another a new friend and talk about how we can change people's minds. So one of you can be the meat eater. Okay, Andrew is going to be the meat eater. I'm going to be the vegetarian. Okay, Andrew is going to tell me why he needs to eat meat because it tastes so good. And I'm going to try to explain to him that no, he doesn't need to eat meat. He can have a lot of great tasting food without eating meat. Okay, so uh, remember, find a new friend. Try to overcome these three reasons for eating meat with your new friend. Go ahead, please. Stand up, find a new friend. <laughs> What vegetarian society says when we try to debunk these erroneous views about meat. Uh, click please. Next please. Okay, so why does meat taste so good? A lot of it is the seasoning. And what is the seasoning? The seasoning is all vegetarian. It's ginger or garlic. I know not everyone likes that. But uh, star anise, chili, etc. These are all plant foods. Next, please. Does that look appetizing? We have to hide, we have to disguise, we have to mask the taste of meat. Otherwise, next please. If it's not disguised, it's not going to be nice. Next please. Vegetarian food is healthy, no question about it. Olympic athletes, Nobel Prize winners, billionaires, generations of people in India have been vegetarian. Like, there's a doctor here in Singapore whose family originally came from India, 42nd generation vegetarian. Uh, this is a great website, the American Dietetic Association. It's an organization of about 70,000 nutrition professionals. They have a statement how vegetarian, including vegan diets, are healthy and can even be healthier for people in all stages of life, including pregnant women, including elderly, including small children. Okay, here's um, even the health promotion board here in Singapore. They have a food pyramid, a vegetarian food pyramid shows how this can be perfectly healthy. Next please. And in Singapore, we have our own great examples. We have Teresa Siu, who's at least 111 years old. She was just in the paper a couple Sundays ago, an article about longevity. She's a lifelong vegetarian. One of the top weightlifters here in Singapore, Ang Hui, is, uh, is a, a vegetarian. Ramachan who is the Singapore national record holder in the marathon, also a vegetarian. He set the record back more about 15 years ago. No meat eaters have broken it. And just last year, the Singapore marathon, he was the number one Singapore finisher. At, you know, now he's in his mid 40s, he's still faster than the meat eaters. And Goju Heng, you know, some people think that we can't get enough iron on a vegetarian diet. He's donated blood more than a hundred times. Okay, there's, uh, this is Teresa right here. Next, please. There's Ramachan. Next, there's Ang Hui. Okay. And in terms of can we find vegetarian food? Well, it's getting easier and easier to find here in Singapore. The Vegetarian Society website has got a page 
which lists more than 400 different vegetarian eateries all over Singapore. We have a, veg a Singapore Vegetarian Food Guide with a list of more than 80 different restaurants. And almost any uh, non-vegetarian restaurant or stall can get you vegetarian food as long as you specify how you want it. Okay, so any place you go, you can get vegetarian food. And we should be noisy vegetarians. In other words, we, if we don't find vegetarian food, we just shouldn't eat rice. We should say, no, I want something that's nice to eat vegetarian. And explain why. We know four reasons. Explain why. It isn't just some personal choice. I've got important reasons, life-saving reasons for you, for people all over the world. That's why I want this vegetarian food. And uh, Wong Ki Yu right here, who helped to organize this, this whole great symposium, he has a cookbook. Very easy, a lot of raw, raw recipes, very easy to make, quick, easy to clean up, and it's on sale right here. I think all the proceeds go to Kampong Sanang, right? Yes, so please, uh, please check out his cookbook. Like I said, easy and quick to clean up. No greasy, yucky fat from all the, from all the meat. Next, please. Okay, and certainly vegetarian food is not boring. These cupcakes made right here in Singapore, these are even vegan cupcakes. Okay, and um, about a year ago, I went to an event at a Hindu temple. Next, please. Click again, please. There were 400 different vegetarian dishes. And I heard that a temple in London has the same event with 800. So the human imagination, like Dada says, our potential is unlimited. The po our potential to create great vegetarian dishes, also unlimited. So uh, I'm going to end here. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow and to eating lots, of mo lots more great vegetarian food with you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.